This video is sponsored by Deep Cut Studios. For a wide range of fantastic gaming resources such as battle mats, dice trays and pre-painted bases, check out the description below. Hi guys, welcome back to TNG Productions. My name is Tom. Uh, my name is Paul. And we're back for some Walking Dead All Out War. This is game two of round, round one, one of our campaign and it's got straight to grudge match. Terrible. Boys is. Now if you've not seen the campaign, check a look at our intro video and also have a look at Ian and Ben's first round, which was, yeah. uh, we won't spoil it, but it was a bloodbath. <laughs> um, so we are aiming to try and secure some points for the map to go I'm aiming in. for a bloodbath. Yeah, you definitely are. You've got the saviors, I've got the prisoners, and we'll show you the crews now. And here are our crews for today's 250 point battle report. It's round one of the campaign, and if you've watched uh, the first battle, which was an absolute bloodbath between Ian and Ben. Both Paul and I are... Expect that to be nothing. <laughs> that's coming. Oh, I'm terrified. Having the saviors turn one is, is terrible. Um, so I've got the prisoners, which is an interesting faction. They're quite fun together. Uh, they're led by Dexter, who's got a really cool ability to kind of give extra actions out. I've given him a leather jacket. Basically, because I've only got four characters, I've really geared them up. <laughs> so he's got a leather jacket. He's got a titanium baseball bat, which I got from my football stadium upgrade. An ammo reload and the 12 gorge shotgun. He's accompanied by Andrew. Gauge. Yeah, either way, it sucks. It's two red dice together, which is poor. Um, and in, in video games, like shotguns are the good. They are the best thing, <laughs> exactly. You want it to be like Doom, where you just one shot everything. Um, Andrew's next to him. He's got a pair of running shoes on, so he can go lightning quick. He's got a .38 revolver as well, so he's got a little bit of shooting. Um, and then Axel and Thomas are just there for combat. Axel's got my standard police jacket, which will give everybody within six, like a buff to their nerve, which the prisoners definitely need because they've got quite low nerve. So it's got a megaphone so we could shout instructions to people, which I think is quite cool. And a first aid kit. The megaphone he also nicked from the football stadium. I like the idea of him just picking it up and going, yeah, this will do, I'll yeah, keep all of this. I'll keep all of this. Um, Thomas, continuing the theme, has got football pads on and uh, he's got a machete and a small knife just for, I needed to use the points and the small knife doesn't really add anything because I already get re-rolls. Yep. Um, yeah, you've got you've left Laura behind, but you've taken all the others. Yeah, so I've I've really touched lucky on the uh, the saviors crew. So I've <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I've gone to max out as many characters as I can to try and force you to have more options. And Negan is terrifying. Um, so I'll, I'll start with Negan, obviously. So I've given him a leather jacket and Lucille. Wizzy wig. Wizzy wig, just to try and get him into combat and try and do some damage. Obviously, he's got to be armed with Lucille. There's no other way to take him. But I have gone for the bad mother asterisk asterisk. asterisk. Yeah. Can you just can I say it and then you just no because that involves more editing. You've yeah. you've taken the uh, the, the here's the, Negan version. Yeah, the impress me one. So the idea behind it is obviously the saviors do multiple actions and then they get more dice if they impress Negan. They've got best synergy. Yeah, um, so then I'll start at the front. Uh, I've gone for Tara, uh, who is a combat machine against walkers. She's armed with a small knife and a kitchen knife, which now that I'm looking at the rules properly, um, is pointless. It's the same as Thomas. Yeah, You've yeah, got an extra knife for the yeah, sake of just having an extra knife. She needed the sharp weapon for the special rule stab, but she's double give it two, two weapons was, was pointless. Um, I've then got Sherry, who is probably the easiest to get the impress me's off. However, her low nerve really lets her down. So I've got to keep it away from Negan when we start getting into the medium threat levels and whatnot. Uh, then behind here, I've got Dwight, who I've armed with a 9mm pistol. Uh, he is hopefully going to be the um, objective grabber. Uh, he's very quick then I've got John who is just a tank basically. what have you given John? Uh, John John's got a pitchfork you've used your farm because I've got the farm <laughs> yeah and I've I originally armed him with a crowbar I think so he was was he weak but then it was like actually I'm getting no bonus from the crowbar yeah. so I'll just give him a pitchfork you get cheaper cheap farming egg. weapons don't yeah. you so um, but the lucky thing I've got is I've got another character in the bag as well that I could from if anyone takes any serious damage here or and if you require rifles yeah. everyone's desperate to get rifles in this campaign i think laura with a rifle she's a blue dice for 30 points is terrifying yeah um, so let's go set up the board and we'll see in a sec okay this is how things look as we've set up for the game in this very very lovely mix of terrain that we've got now we've got this really cool kind of vertical terrain that we can build Yes. Um, but because of that, we'll probably have to explain where our characters are because they're all hidden on the road, really. So, um, Paul, do you want to start with your saviours? Okay, so the saviours are in force, as I mentioned. So we've got Dwight just deployed here. 
uh, inside this this building. Uh, we've got Sherry just here behind the wall. Uh, we've got Negan next to here, and we've got Tara and uh, John uh, over on the left hand side. The SmackDown crew. Uh, you can see Dexter at the bottom right of the map with the shotgun inside the building. Axel's just the other side of the building, and then you can see Thomas and Andrew just near the top. So we've set up for the game. Unfortunately, we've had to set up with the threat level already on one because somebody chose to take a walker hex during his yep. turn zero. So thanks for that. So we're already going to have high threat quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and we've drawn our campaign card. And the campaign card we've got, Paul, is called... It's perfect. It's perfect for you. He's grinning like a Cheshire cat. So it's called Vendetta. Uh, the leaders of each group have made things personal because the prisoners and the saviors really don't get on, apparently. Uh, each may re-roll blanks on attack rolls when targeting the other. They must always attack the opposition leader if possible, even if another target, a survivor or a walker, is preferable. So that if they can, they have to gun it for yeah. each other. So the way we're applying that is, obviously, if they're in combat together, they have to target each other, even if there's walkers present or another survivor. Um, if Dexter's they, got a shotgun, yeah, so if he can if get a line of sight. sight at each other, we've got a target. We're not saying that they've got to go out the way to fight each other. No, but it might. But I will be going out the way. <laughs> and it'll probably affect my shooting choices as we go into it. So we'll go into the first activation of the first turn, which is going to be the Saviors. So my first activation is a nice simple one. It's going to be Sherry, and she's not going to do anything. So the as I explained, the crew I'm playing with the saviors is the Negan bad mother, asterisk, 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 asterisk. <laughs> um, So basically it's the, uh, the buff each other crew. So Sherry's gonna give up her actions to give um, John, who is within six inches, a free activation. So John is going to make noise which is going to draw in this walker to here, which is just short of him. Um, that's right, yeah, target model may still activate normally later if it has not already done so. And that does impress Negan, so Shelly gets plus one red dice to her card. Over to you, mate. Uh, Axel's actually going to do something very, very similar to you, Paul. He's going to use his megaphone, which we said it's the first time we've actually got uh, the megaphone. So he's just going to move up to this position here. And as an action, he is going to shout over it to Andrew, which will give Andrew plus one action for okay. his go. However, use of the megaphone obviously does make noise because he's belting it out. This is from my football stadium, not the quiet and good. So it will <laughs> make noise. You're pretending to hold him. I am, I'm doing it. Which will pull Walker into him for combat. Nice and easy, straightforward. Bro. So my next act activation is going to be Tara, and I'm going to run here up to this point here, which will bring in this Walker. And it will engage it. Thomas, for me then, he is going to make a sprinting action because he wants to be stabbing all of the things in the world, which will draw the attention of this walker. So John's activation for me, he is going to run around this walker and get finish up about there, which will pull in this walker here. We've said for the purposes of this, the barrier isn't really a barrier, it's just there for decoration. So Paul doesn't have to do a climb, and walkers can just walk straight through it. Yeah. So, and that will engage John. Dexter then is going to sprint to high ground, because I love the fact that we've got two-story buildings now, it's so cool. So he's going to breeze past this walker and say, see you later. He's going to run to about there, which will pull that walker into combat with him. Okay, so my activation is going to be Dwight. He is going to sneak onto these stairs here. And as he goes up, he spots a walker and he's going to be terrified and take a pot shot at the walker. So I'm going to make a shoot action with a white dice basic and two reds for Dwight's 9mm pistol. Let's see what we get. We get nothing. And uh, the walker rolls one on the defense, yep. you've got one there. That's fine. Um, yep, no need to, nothing to re-roll, so... It does cause mayhem. does cause so mayhem, So the threat tracker goes up to two, and we'll just measure it out and we'll go back in a sec. 
And as you can see from the corner of the screen, that Dwight is. Uh, <laughs> There's walk in, getting out of the house. No, the walkers have barged through the door to that shop and they're heading all the way up those stairs. Uh, Andrew, meanwhile, is going to take the calm but lesser trod path. He's going to sprint just to this position here. Uh, it will make noise, which will make this walker hit the barricade. And for the purposes of this, we will say the walker will be able to shamble around for kill zones. I am going to take this, though, and search it. And we get... Everybody's favourite, we get bandages. Very Happy time. Sure. So that's my second action. I do have a third to play with, but I can't really do much with it. So that'll do for me. So the big man is going to show everyone how it's done and protect Dwight a little bit. I am going to sneak to here and I'm going to make noise, shout at that walker, or oh, you, you're ugly. Get over Stop here. Stop eating that deer. Yeah. <laughs> Eat Lucille. That will uh, shamble into Negan, and that is the end of. All the activations. Let's go to the event phase. And here we go at the end of the first turn. We've had a walker that's just barreling to Andrew. We've had one that's kind of gone in at the bottom uh, as well. And we are onto the event card, Paul. So what have we drawn? Yeah, we've also had uh, John engage in two walkers as well. Um, so we have drawn for the event phase the Walking Dead. The worst card to draw at the start Best. of the game. I love it. Uh, plus two to the threat level. Which so, takes us into low threat straight away. Yeah, so we are on threat level four now, is that right? Yeah, Andrew's going to be panicking very quickly. Yeah. Uh, so Sherry, but she's done her job. Uh, two red dice with walkers enter play, and then the same walkers at each move towards the nearest survivor. So I have priority, and we get one. One walker. We Yay. will put that walker out, we'll cut back in a sec. And as you can see, Paul has just barreled a walker into the back of Axel You're through that building. Welcome. Thank you very much for that, and we're glad he'll appreciate that with his zero weapons. Yep. And we'll go over to the mellow phase, adding one to the threat, pushing up to level five. Okay, so we're just going to get all my uh, my combats out of the way first. So we've got Dwight engaging this walker. So Dwight just has a red for his melee attack. And Dwight gets a one. The walker gets a one as well. Gets so a it's one a tie. Well. So it's a tie. So the walker is simply pushed back. And handily, these um, little terrain pieces we've got. We've all got one inch squares on them. It's really, really useful. It's really, really good. Uh, it just happens to be that they're both engaged in one square. <laughs> um, so we'll do Tara next. So She minces through walkers, yeah. doesn't she? So Tara has a white dice for melee and because she has the special rule clear the way, she adds a red dice to her attack rolls when versus walkers. She also has the rule stab. So because she's armed with a kitchen knife and small knife, which doesn't make a difference, um, she can re-roll one sharp of the weapons, dice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sharp weapon. So I am going to use the... The kitchen knife, probably. I the kitchen knife, yeah. So I can re-roll dice per melee, so it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I don't so, need yeah, it. Yeah, there's, there's no point me. Okay. No. <laughs> so. and what that also does is impresses oh. Negan. It does. Tara gets out a red dice for her pool. She does indeed. So Tara is getting up there with effectiveness now. So John, big bad John. Gets a white dice and a red dice for his pitchfork. Uh, and that's sharp, so I can re-roll damage on people. Um, and I also have the special rule tank. So if I'm outnumbered in combat, which I am, I add white dice to my melee attack rolls. And if I win the combat, not necessarily kill the walker, I impress Negan. If you roll here, mate, just so a bit more space. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I guess he gets well, one. Well, I'm winning the combat and one headshot. Uh, that's a one that's just dropped one. off the roof there. So, which yeah. walker would you like to kill? I will... I'll kill this one. Yeah. Just get rid of that one. Get now. away from the supplies. Uh, and I also impress Negan. And there's no way I can re-roll one of the blank dices. All those red dice are coming into play for next turn, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're going to be very useful. So we do push that walker away. Yep. Uh, and then Negan, the big, big man. man. He's killing half a walker here. He's killing half a walker, yeah. So he has a blue dice basic, and he has two white dice for Lucille. Any headshots, I can add a white dice to the roll. Um, and shame he doesn't impress himself. He that definitely killed the walker, though. Uh, walker. Yeah, he's murdered it. So. Showing how it's done. That is a lot of dead walkers all done in a row there. It's the saviours clearing the way. Over to the prisoners, then. Over to the prisoners. Over to the prisoners then, Dexter has got this walker who has kind of snuck up on him. He has a white and a red basic, but he's got a titanium baseball bat, which means he can re-roll a red as well as adding a red. So let's see how he does. Uh, he gets three so far. So see how you roll before I see about re-rolling. Like yeah, I will, I'll will. i just keep the, the push away and the knock down. I don't want to risk getting a blank there. Okay. On to... to knock this walker down as well from... Um... 
Yes, we combat. did. There we go. Yeah. Put a marker on him there. Um, on to Axel. He's going to have a bad day here. He's just got a white dice against three walker dice, so this yeah. might be uh, painful. He rolls one. Oh, that's a cock dice on the side of the roof, thank God. So it's two. Uh, so he takes a point of damage, which drops him down to five, and he'll kind of get pushed as we push these walkers away. Uh, Thomas is a murder machine, so he has got uh, two white dice, but he can re-roll because of his uh, stab desire, so he can re-roll one of them. Using his machete, he's got a one and one against a walker here. Uh, he gets a one and a cock dice, he gets two. Walk blank. I'm going to re-roll one just in the hope of getting a headshot, so I do not. So I just push it away and knock it prone. And then we're going to go on to Andrew. He has got the nimble special rule, so he would rather just not fight. So he's going to see if he can roll 50-50 on shield. He can dodge away. Oh, he can. Gosh. He's just going to dodge an inch and stay up trouble. Awesome. So it is over to you for the first activation. And at the end of the first turn, Axel isn't particularly impressed with that extra walker, but that was a good tactical move, just to chip away at his health. Um, one of the walkers has stood up just behind Dexter, everyone else has kind of stayed flat on their backside. So we'll go to the prisoners for turn two. Starting my activation then, Dexter is going to go first. He's actually going to use his leader ability, which is top dog, which means he can roll a white dice and freely distribute that many actions to his teammates. So I'm going to roll the dice, that's a black dice, that's the wrong colour, let's try to get the right colour. <laughs> Two. So I get to spend two action points to give two people. That's a nifty little bonus. That is a, for it's this one campaign. that we've never really used, but for the campaign it is I think Dexter big. definitely needs to go in this campaign. So Ian and Ben, you need to uh, <laughs> to be targeting Dexter when we use Oh, here we go. Look, he's already kind of uh, putting this in. I'm going to give one extra action to Andrew because I think he's going to need it just to get away from things. And I think I'm probably going to give an extra action to... Thomas. Anyway, Dexter's up. He's just going to simply turn around and face the right way, boy. And then he's going to search this token. And he draws. Oh, that'll teach me for calling him boy. He gets a bear trap. Good <laughs> size. Right, so he immediately takes a point of damage. That locks him down to six. And on a black and white dice, on a star, he makes noise because he's screaming in pain. So, no, conveniently does not. Because he, oh, he's a hard, he's top dog. He does, he does, he's like, so he's just still on the chat and like, oh, you. More importantly, what scumbag has put a bear trap in the middle of a shop just casually? Just, just like that scumbag that put a bomb <laughs> in the middle of the, the bag of guns when yeah, we played that big game. Yeah, that, the, bad, bad times, bad times. Uh, but that'll do for me, it's not too bad, luckily. Okay, so my next action is. Do I explain to the audience that you were just shouting at Dwight as if you were Negan then? Yeah. <laughs> you just went, you're not being impressive, Dwight. As if like, you need like, a baseball bat over your shoulder. You know what? He can't eat. Like, that's, that's all I'm saying. He's, he's like my spirit animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. He swears, he wears leather jackets. You do that weird lean thing every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. Cool. Yeah, I've just done it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was actually realising it. Um, okay, so I'm going to activate Dwight and I realised I've set the camera up. You can just see Dwight's little blonde hair just here. <laughs> and he's up. going to sneak and he's not going to be engaging that walker that he pushed away. He's able to get past that. And I'm going to search this token that's in the top here. And I get a old gun. Hey, he's got two guns. Perfect. So he is now dual wielding. <laughs> Love it. Um, so that is going to be the end of Dwight's activation uh, and over to the prisoners. Okay, Andrew's got three actions. He's going to go for it here, despite the fact he's probably going to incur Negan's wrath. He's going to spend the free one that uh, Dexter gave him. He's just him. doing that town like the tight. Is he just going to run all the way over Negan? Negan's just, just going to bat him in the face. Ball, that, yeah. I'm going to try and hold my nerve. I do successfully hold my nerve, so that knocks it down to uh, four. Because if anyone needs to hold the nerve, it's definitely Andrew. He's going to sprint to the tippity tippityest edge of this supply token, which will make noise and pull this walk in. However, he's then does going he to search it. Quiet. He doesn't. He's got his running shoes, which means he can run an extra two inches no. on a 50 50, but I don't want to roll the extra two. Um, what have I drawn? Why do I always get the bad ones? I've drawn got... Lurker. Yes! For God's sake. <laughs> Bear trap, that means, do you know what though? That means there's a grenade somewhere in these and you've got the supply tokens yeah. left to serve. I am not going for any more supply tokens. There's just that one. Let's, let's just be honest, all you've picked up is bandages. I've got an old gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's two dice that you roll against my defence and threat tracker goes up to by one, so it immediately goes back to five, so that was redundant. 
Uh, so do you want to roll your two because you're technically hitting me here with this yes, walker? Uh, so you only roll your defence. Yeah, uh, we've got rolling. Just between that yellow car and the barrier there, mate. Okay. Oh, oh two and a bite. bite. So Andrew's looking got two dice on his defence. Please roll two. Hey, it's three. He's safe. He's okay. He's not being nibbled. Thank God for that. Uh, now we just await the battening. So my next activation is going to be John, and I think I've just realised that all the supply tokens bar one are now gone off the field, so I'm going to have to pick them up to start gaining some points. Uh, so John is going to run to here. Go over the barrier, as we said earlier, for yeah. you doing that. Uh, which will bring in this walker here, we're going to say. Yeah, I think he's the closest. So he's going to shamble into that fence there. That walker, little in fact, he's a rejected member of our crew. Is like, that we had right? audition tapes for him, but he just jangled the chains and kind of moaned, and that doesn't really fit in our band. Okay. Like, he didn't bring anything to the team. Just, just show that that is a prison walker, just yeah. in case anyone's thinking, what's Tom going on about? His vocal sucked, sadly. Yeah. Anyway, you've got a supply <laughs> token. Draw that grenade that's definitely floating around in there. <laughs> I'm terrified that the grenade's in here. Nope, oh, nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> Literally an <laughs> empty box of nothing. Enjoy enjoy that for the campaign. You take that yeah, box. I will, I will take that absolute nothing. You know what? Do, do you remember Metal Gear Solid 3? Yeah. It's it's just, yeah. It's just, I'm just going to have one of my characters hidden in the box. I think like MGS5, literally like in the sand dunes, you can get in it and use it as like a buggy to slide down. So we need to make a map that's got a hill so John can just slide down and box somebody. Slide in this box. Excellent. Um, so over to you. Over to me, Axel needs to get the hell away from all these walkers. He's going to attempt he's to. Right. He's going to attempt to hold his nerve. Uh, he does successfully hold his nerve. Well done, sir. We're knocking back down to four. Um, he is then going to try and sprint up, and actually, contrary to what I was planning, which was to run over here, I'm going to zigzag him to this position here so that he is behind a barrier, which is kind of important for being shot at. But he will pull in this walker. So I am going to again activate Sherry, um, who is going to give up her actions to give Negan plus one action. So she does impress him because you know she's she's that type of girl. She likes impressing the boss. She's an impressive lady. Um, and Negan is going to just sneak to here. And that will end Sherry's activation. For my final action then, uh, Thomas is not gonna need his extra token. He's just gonna move and engage this walker here just to make sure that Axel doesn't get completely crumpled. Okay, so my next activation is going to be Tara. You got two on the bounce now. I've got two on the bounce. So saving the best for last, obviously with Negan. So I am going to run Tara to Yeah. Just to pull in that walker that's behind the shop. Bingo. Which will pull in that walker there. And that will end Tara's activation. And I'm going to carry on. And I'm going to run Negan. Do, 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 do. To here. Which will pull in this walker. Who will engage Tara. Yeah, so either I, uh, I nimble the hell away, or this is the- Oh, he's got nimble hell away! Oh no! <laughs> so, I need, to, I, I need to roll well. <laughs> I was thinking before, I've got to trap him. I forgot no. he had nimble. <laughs> uh, we'll go to the event phase and see what that does. On to the event phase then, and we have drawn the herd. Or oh, the yeah. hunger, is it? I saw the H then and panicked. <laughs> uh, so plus one to threat, plus one to five. Yep. What does it say? And we are in low threat, yeah? Yep. So each player moves one eligible walker towards the nearest survivor. So you have priority, mate. Do you go? Well, I measured this a minute ago, so I'm going to move this walker over and I'm going to chuck that one into Tara. Makes sense. Uh, I am going to send this one upstairs. Yep, that also makes sense. Next <laughs> uh, So yeah, we'll go to the combat and I've got priority, but I think... I think we might actually start with you fighting first, mate. I might choose to do that first. <laughs> Right, so let's go with you first, because I want to see what happens with Tara, really. I don't. <laughs> do you want to start with Dwight? Do we start gentle? Oh, yeah. We'll Dwight in Dwight the corner Dwight. here, fighting a walker one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so Dwight gets nothing. Uh, the walker. Two, Two of the bites. Bite. Oh, oh a bite is a very good. bad thing to have in this campaign. Yep, yeah, so that puts me down to... Two health. Two health, and I'm bitten. Bear in mind, if you die from a bite... You're dead. I'm dead. You're dead, dead. I'm definitely losing Dwight as he is awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tara then. So she's quite good. She's impressed Negan so far. 
She has indeed. Um, I'm going to use that uh, benefit that she uh, the red dice she got previously uh, to add it to her pool. And she's got a red dice for clear the way as well, hasn't she? Yeah, she's got a red dice for clear the way and you've got rerolls. Um, melee attack rolls each time. Remove the warfare. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I've got rerolls because of stab. So white dice and two red. Come on, Tara. There's a blank Ooh, under there. Should you wish to reroll it? Uh, I definitely want to reroll that. Don't know whether it's worth to reroll the white. Yep, I'm gonna take the risk. Okay. Oh, definitely it definitely it. paid off. So that That's counts five, to- basically, because uh, headshots only work against survivors. Headshots only work against survivors. So you got five there. I've got six dice in the walkers, so I probably can't kill you here. Um, but we'll see how we do. Oh, we get four. I win! So you've won the combat. <laughs> uh, so you I killed two walkers. walkers. Right, so- That's really good. That re-roll is definitely worth the place, risk. And that gives Tara Two, if I'm, I'm reading that right. Which two do you want to kill? Just these two? Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, and uh, this one will get pushed and prone. Prone, yeah. Go Tara. Um, that was just let me just read the rules for clear the way. Each time she removes a walker from play, she, she impresses, impresses Negan. Negan. So you get two. Two, 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 yeah. Two red dice. I'll take that. That was a definitely a very good reroll. Uh, that's effectively re requiring double sixes and getting it. That's it, you got that's it. Uh, we're going to film the Andrew Negan combat from the other side just so you can see what's going on. Over to my side of the combat then. Dexter is currently facing off against two walkers. He's got a white and two red with the ability to reroll red because he is a bruiser. So let's see how he does. We'll just roll here. Uh, he gets three. Okay, so walkers, three red dice. And they get three as well. All right, so, so survivors win draws. Oh, and I've just knocked all the fence over. That's fine. We'll save it in a second. Uh, so he pushes them away. Annoyingly, doesn't kill them, though. He's kind of pinned in on that rooftop at the moment. He's going to have to jump down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can risk it. Uh, Thomas and Axel have got dice for days. Actually, you can I steal a white dice from you, please? Yeah. So Thomas has got two white dice. Axel has got one. They're against the walker. They better kill it. Uh, they get yeah. three successes. Walker gets nothing. Pushes it away and oh, pops it prone. prone. Right, let's get on to the uh, the main event then, because this could end very badly for me. Yeah, so let's just see if you dodge away first. I'm not even gonna pick my dice up. Yeah, so nimble, so 150-50 on a star, I dodge away. I dodge away. Lucky boy. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, but you're, you've are you got initiative going into the next uh, turn, so. I have indeed, yes. Um, I am gonna make sure I'm a full inch away from you. Screw the walker, I'm gonna make sure I've got the inch distance away from Megan. <laughs> Uh, so I'll just scoot that round and you can see Andrew has just dodged to there. Nika doesn't have to worry about the walker because the walker was in combat with Andrew. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. We'll all go to the end phase. And this is the picture at the end of the second turn. And we've remembered to add one to the threat tracker for combat as well, which means we're on level six. All the walkers we knocked down stayed down, which was pretty good. Just remembered we never pushed them. Dwight away. Dwight away. Um, so we're all looking good. Do you want to roll 50 50 for your bite on Dwight, actually? Oh, yes, forgot to roll for that. Yeah. Um, he He's rolled a blank. A bite. So he takes a bite damage, puts him on one health. Does indeed. Uh, that's, that's a tasty, painful place to be. Oh, no, I think Dwight's going to die. <laughs> However, you have got priorities going to turn three, so let's um, go and get onto that. Right, my activation is going to be Dwight, who is definitely on his last legs now. <laughs> so I am going to use a swap items action. And I'm going to chuck my 9mm pistol down to Sherry. Is it like, have you seen the Prince of Persia film where he throws the knife out the window? The, the knife thrower. Oh, and he yeah. just like hurls it and he's dying kind of bit. Yeah. Dwight's dying from the bite and just chucks this gun. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> um, and that will impress Negan, because Negan's like... Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Well done, Dwight. Uh, and then in Dwight's final action, He's gonna pull in all the walkers just to save the day. Okay. This, this is kind of like he's about to, you know in Terminator Two where Dyson's got the bomb. <laughs> like and they all rush in. He's like, yeah, it's pointing every film here, but I am legend, bro. It's just like, <laughs> it. It's the ch the final charge. We've well, got extra red dice for this. I am. Yeah. You might yeah. as well roll. So um, can we grab one? Oh no, I've got white dice here. So the white's got a white basic. He is still equipped with the old gun that he found up there. Yeah, he's all the that hassle token. for an old gun. Um, so he's going to make a shot with that. And then he's going to use that red and press me dice. So we've got the two red dice right in front of him. Aiming opinion. at this walker. Um, and I'm going to roll it here. And the walker goes in a blaze of glory. Yeah, it definitely kills it. Kills it. It creates mayhem, which pushes the threat up to level seven. And which, we will. Should we cut back? Yeah, and we'll, we'll sort the walkers out in a second. Yeah, Dwight's in a bad bad place now, isn't he? He's not. Yeah, he's not, he's not happy. Not looking good, like. Andrew's going to try and do something impressive, so he can run all the way around the back here basically inside a doorway 
just here. However, he has got his running shoes and we want to kind of get to this window in the corner just here. So 50-50 dice does not get it. So he will stop just inside the doorway where he is. And then he's going to attempt to shoot at Tara. So it's he's terrible. going to use his .38 revolver, which is going to be uh, two white dice shooting at her, which is not the worst thing in That's the world. Bad, yeah. uh, so two white dice, we get a one and a nothing. That was a terrible roll. And Tara is uh, proven that she's MVP. Yeah, she's got blue on the phone, hasn't yeah, she? It's, it's, she's fine. So she's fine no matter what. You might as well roll it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Fine. Uh, it does create mayhem, so we will cut and we will see what that does. Plus one to the threat. Right, so I'm going to activate Sherry. I have knocked um, us up to medium threat now with yeah. my mayhem, and there's just all manner of people going towards this building. Yeah, so Sherry, I, I really need her to go berserk. It's just as well that Andrew did that, because he made it go up, which means he doesn't freak out straight That's away. Nice. Uh, so yeah, Sherry, you want the berserk here. You want her to go combat monster mode. Yep. Uh, ah, you get no. run, so she has got to run away from the eight inches in a straight line directly away from the nearest enemy, take no further actions. She's just gonna run into the corner of that building. <laughs> Help me, Dwight! Yeah, that was a waste. Uh, okay, that's her activation. That's her done. Over to Dexter then. He's gonna use his leader ability to roll a white dice and bestow, you happy with that? Two actions to, I'm just gonna give them Thompson Axel, I'll mark them in a second. He's gonna sneak himself like into this little, he's gonna basically poke his gun through there. <laughs> And shot, yeah. yeah, the card says that I have to shoot at Negan, so the uh, your campaign card can't be ignored. We have measured I am barely within six inches, so I will get the shotgun roll here. But your defense is super good. Yep, it's a blue. And the shotgun sucks. So I've got a red dice for shooting and then a red dice uh, for the shotgun. So I get one, so I can't it's possibly fine. hurt Negan. It's fine. Uh, no point even rolling. No point rolling. Two, it does put the threat up by one, which takes us to level 10, and it will create mayhem. So we'll move the walkers and cut back. So yeah, um, all of my activations are gone now. Yeah, so I, I, <laughs> because of uh, Tom's breathless shotgun <laughs> attempt, um, basically all the walkers have engaged the two characters you gave the extra actions to. Yay. So yeah, that's, uh, that sucked. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. Uh, right. So I've got a couple of activations to do on the bounce here. So I may as well get up to them. Um, I'm going to run John to here, which will create noise, obviously, and it will shamble in this walker. Who will engage here. I was trying to keep my arm onto the camera. Uh, Tara is going to... Yeah, that's a good idea. Sneak to there and engage. Well, maybe not a sneak. It's probably gonna be a run. Run, yeah. Which will pull this walker. Basically, you can't go into the back of that base, yeah. so it'll pull it into Axel. Pull it into Axel. Guarantees his death, pretty much. And then Negan is going to go in to Thomas. Oh dear. Let's, uh, uh, let's go to the event phase then. May as well. Okay, so um, kill zones uh, pretty much are what they are. Yeah, basically. That. <laughs> that one engaged there, and that one engaged John, who was just out before. Uh, and oh, we didn't check this one actually. Is no, you're out there, you're okay. Out, okay. Um, yeah, so event card is drawn to chaos. So plus one to the threat tracker, so we're still in medium. And that does say white walkers enter play from each table edge. And we get just the one. So we'll cut back in a sec. So that was nice and simple. Um, we've got one walker that's entered in here on the bottom table edge. Over to the left, we've got one that's entered over by the fence. On the far table edge, uh, over by the, the fence again, just central towards where John is. And then we've got one that's uh, entered into the garden. All you need to know is that Sherry's safe. I yeah, did put Sherry's one next to her because yeah. it was uh, Paul's choice. Because I got there first. So, plus one again because of combat, which puts us up to level 12. And um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, this could be a painful turn for me. So, um, <laughs> let's go with Dexter first, because he'll bring me good news. He's yeah. got a uh, white and two red against one walker. Yep. Yeah. Um, walker gets two He gets whites. three, so he successfully... I don't think he's actually killed anything yet. Close. He's just constantly been fighting these walkers. Yeah, that was nearly dangerous. Um, Axel, do you want to do? Um, you know what, let's do John to get him out the way. Yeah. So, John is tough as nails. He yeah. gets a walker, basically, because the other one's pro. Um, Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't count as being outnumbered, does he? Oh, that's a shame. I don't have to just pop it normally. Yeah. Don't, don't get an extra red dice. So it's just uh, 
white and a red. John. Two. Two. One. one. Knocks the walker away and knocks it. Prone. Inch away there. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to go with next, mate? Uh, let's get a save Negan till the end, shall we? He's always the uh, the, the resistance. <laughs> Poor Axel with his one white yeah. dice then. So I'm going to use Sherry gets. Uh, sorry, Tara gets a white. I'm going to use the two impress me's that she earned <laughs> off Negan before. And I'm going to use the walkers, three red dice. So we'll roll the walkers first. Yeah, just see if any bites get triggered. Uh, two. Get two. So that'll add to your total, whatever you roll yeah, on your two, other dice. Two. And then Tara, who can do all the re rolls she likes. Um, which we are going to re-roll, I'll re-roll that one. So, currently on five. five. Six. six. I can totally roll six on my one white dice. Uh, oh, two of the headshots, so I get two. So, four damage. Four one, two, damage. three. So conveniently, that puts him on one health. <laughs> He's on his last leg, and I think we'll just have to do a bit of a big separation of everyone getting kind of pushed back here. And I might just nudge this walker, just so we've got a bit of control space, because the other combat's going to send people flying as well. Imagine so. So, Negan? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Thomas is going to struggle here with his four health. White for Lucille and red for the walker. So, I'll roll the walker first. Nothing. Good Good news. That's okay. Uh, Negan? Thomas has got two white, but you can re roll, uh, luckily. So, Negan only gets two, so three in total. Uh, this isn't a good rule for Negan. Tom gets, Tom gets three with a headshot. Three, so, it's a draw. Headshot doesn't count. I know, I'm tempted to risk the re-rolling the one here for the sake of it, but I think a draw isn't the worst thing when I've got priority, so I will just take the draw, because you've got the leather jacket anyway, and everyone will just go their separate ways, minding their own business. Disappointing. Not hitting anyone with any baseball bats. <laughs> and we'll go to the end phase. So, a, uh, an anticlimactic uh, melee phase. There. Brilliant melee phase, but exactly to plan. Yeah, whatever. Um, but a very disappointing end phase as we have our first death in the campaign. Dwight has sadly perished. His bite has killed. It's the only way a character can actually die in this campaign. Yeah. Um, so Dwight is dead, dead. He's come back as a walker. He's dropped his supply drone. token as well. Dropped the supply token. Um, all the walkers, bar the ones that engage John and Dexter, have all stood up, is that right? Yeah, pretty much, yep. which is a little bit nasty for this big mess that's in the middle of the field here. Mm, so, it is what it is, unfortunately, and it goes over to Tom's priority. Right, Andrew's going to go first. It's, it's getting up towards high threat here, he's not having a good day, so we'll see if he panics. Uh, he gets... A question mark, he can only complete one action because he is absolutely terrified. So does um, he risk taking the shot so he can, st I'd say he could see through there and he could see a Tara. I think he's going to struggle to see Tara, but I think he's just going to need to make a run action. It's where is the safest place for him to run? Does he stay in the room with Dexter or does he, you know, panic a little bit? I think I'm going to scoot this a little bit further back just so you can see what I'm going to do. I think he's going to run around the back of the vending machine here and just like literally hide at the back. The alternative is he goes and hides in the barricade here away from all the walkers. But either way, I don't really want to be near Negan and all of his buddies. So Andrew is going to make a sprint action into the corner of the map here. If there's any cards that bring on walkers, he's dead. Yes. But um, essentially... He's like, you know what, actually, it will be more sensible. We're going to go just there, so we're outside of a kill zone. Okay. I think that's probably a more sensible thing for me to do. I mean, it does create noise, the fact he's sprinted. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. I, I feel you, I feel you. We're just, <laughs> just going to do that. Do that, do that. Such a casual play experience. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's not like it's a campaign that's important for the results. No, 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 not, not, at, not at all. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yeah. I mean, it could be salty, I've just lost the guy. <laughs> right. Although you can't really see it because it's it's all happening over Super here. Messy, yeah. this combat. Um, so I'm going to activate Tara and I'm going to move here to engage Axel and this walker here. Um, so when the kill zone goes off, it will pull in two more walkers into Axel and take away his activation. That is a so solid move. Tactics. Because the victory points have now got away from me. Thomas then, he's going to make a nice simple move. He's going to sprint his way around the back here, which will pull this walker into base contact with him. My activation is going to be John, who is going to run to here. Getting those double crowd outs, that's what he wants. It, which will bring in this walker here. 
Over to Dexter then, he's going to continue to be screwed by this bloody campaign card. He's got such a vendetta <laughs> against Negan, he hates him so much. Um, he's going to attempt to fire his, you know, nerf shotgun at him. So, two red dice, uh, getting one, there's no way I can actually hurt Negan. Yeah. So, it causes mayhem, which puts the threat up to level 13. It does bring in a ton of walkers. It will bring in a ton of walkers. We'll measure that, and we'll cut back in a sec. Right, so I'm going to activate Sherry, who is definitely still panicking, and see what she does. She goes berserk! Yes. Plus one to the threat. I will take high. that. Puts us into the high threat level. Um, she can behave as normal, though. She can behave as and normal. she gets to add a red dice to her combat. Brilliant. Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to run her. Getting properly stuck in. Yeah, may as well. Get her all the way up to there. Uh, I think that the nearest walker within 10 is probably... Is Kingpin Walker in? I think he's probably the nearest yeah. one, or the girl who's on the bottom floor. Yeah. Either way, they can't get to him. Yeah, so we'll, I say I think Kingpin Walker will probably get... I know he's just going to bump into that walker down there, does yeah. he? So it doesn't make a difference, we'll just pop him. So you can't really see that on camera, just off the air. He bows down some stairs. I had to zoom in a little bit, she's so far behind on the battlefield. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's gone up there, and then she's still got a weapon. Um, you could pew pew somebody. I mean, there's only walkers, really. Yeah, there's just it's just pointless, really. <laughs> yeah. She's going to attempt to hold the nerves, since she's panicking. Two actions, so I may as well just try and move. let the game last a bit longer. Um, no. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, we'll cut to Negan. Cut to Negan. Okay, so we, Negan's activation is going to be really simple. Um, I'm just going to move into... In fact, I'm going to try and lower the threat level with him. I may as well. As we have it, um, yes, Good. goes down one. Goes back to medium. Um, and I'm just gonna move Negan into the. I'm going to the event phase. Okay, so another event phase now. We've just checked uh, kill zones. Everybody's okay, um, and we've drawn Romas. So we are in medium threat. Each player rolls a blue dice and moves that many eligible walkers in the direction of their choice. Uh, I've got one. And I've got. Two. Two. So I've got priority. So I'll we'll cut back in a sec. So I tried to rescue a guy. He's got one out of there. Yep. But then um, chuck two into Dexter. Protected Andrew. Um, and I've just sent two upstairs towards Dexter. Let's go to the melee phase then. Okay, so the plus one to the threat has taken us into high threat round level 14. We're going to start with Dexter. He's facing off against two walkers. He has got his titanium baseball bat, which allow him to add a red dice and also re-roll a red per melee. So let's see how he does. He gets a kill and then two, so that's four in total. That'll do. Three in return. So I'll kill this walker and I'll knock this one prone. It's not bad, it's saved you for a little bit. That has done. It's made a little walker barrier as well. Yeah. Uh, Thomas is going face to face against one walker just at the bottom of your screen. He's got two white dice which he can re-roll, Walker rolls one, I'm going to try and re-roll one anyway just for the sake of getting the headshot, that just bounced off and failed but knocks it pro. Okay. And then <laughs> Axel's, well should we do John? Let's do John and then Axel can die after. John, so John is a white uh, and a red for his pitchfork. Uh, one red dice for the walkers, two of the bites, two of bite. so uh, you get two, get two. survivors win all draws. Yep. And then, yeah, just just hit me with it then. Oh, Tara. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tara and Walker, because that's split, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, so... <coughs> She's got to clear the way, so she gets her extra red dice. Paul's choking just, off camera. Just, just can't breathe at the moment. Uh, yep, yeah, so extra red dice. Uh, just the one, uh, but she can re-roll. That'll uh, do up. it. Uh, yep, yeah, so that'll kill that Walker. Uh, gets an impress me bonus. And um, then we've got Negan and the Walker versus Axel. Yep, yeah, so uh, do the Walker first. Um, I get the benefits of the walk because I'm not engaging it. Yep, so you get the red dice whenever you're all here. Two of the Double bites. Two bite, and that's not good for you. Um, and then I get Negan and blue dice, please. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, so Negan, blue dice, two white. Um, oh, and an extra headshot. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can beat this, but luckily I won't die from the bite. So Axel gets knocked out of commission but thank god he might be able to come back. I think I think if Negan takes somebody out oh we go writing oh, rules as we go here he should have a universal rule if he takes somebody out that's it especially if they fall to Lucille see not only did he bag the strongest crew to start with oh, now writing his own crew. rules I didn't get an option on the strongest I crew. have permission to say that because I've got the prisoners <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can claim everyone else 
Um, that is really good though that's not bad I'm hoping for bad 50-50 rolls here for Dexter otherwise he's in a very bad position yeah, so uh, we'll go to that phase next Okay, so we are, as we approach the next turn, we are in high threat. You said an amazing streak I'm just of dice rolls. A, an unfortunate streak of dice rolls. Um, everything bar poor old Zumble Dwight has just, uh, stayed, has just down. stayed down. Um, Couldn't roll 50 50 to save your life. Couldn't roll 50 50 at all, no. Um, especially the, the ones that counted right up there by Dexter. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll go on to my first activation. So, my first activation is going to be John. Um, and I'm going to attempt to hold my nerve with the big man. And I do, so I can roll 50 50s apparently. Goes back down to medium threat. Back down to medium. I am then going to run John into Thomas. Thomas. Uh, we'll draw the attention of the nearest walker, which will just bash this one into the barricade there. Yep. Over to Andrew then, let's see how he panics to get started. We get the just one action that we can perform here, uh, which is going to be quite interesting actually. I am going to... Hide, possibly, behind the sofa. I mean, I could just shoot, to be honest. I might just shoot the gun at that walker. Um, <laughs> what, so... I cr cause mayhem and draw everything into the corner to you? Yeah, to be fair, there's only one walker that is actually going to be able to get over here and all the other walkers. No, I want to come through the door there. Yeah, that's no problem. I'm okay. <laughs> this, well, there's no walkers by the door. There's nothing under this staircase. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll, that, you can just move that into the doorway. That'll hit the phrase there because he's going to go directly towards the noise. So I'm going to roll my two white dice. I'm going to shoot at this walker. And I don't really care what I roll. I just want to cause mayhem. Do you want to roll defense dice for the, uh, for the walker? <laughs> You're just trying to ramp the clock up. No, I Pretty I'm much, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, that'll uh, knock it prone. Life is good. Causes mayhem, which pushes us back up into high threat. This walker that's behind the door will crack into this. And then essentially, that one there I'm so walk. far in the blooming corner, this will walk into this walker. And then there's literally no other walkers in the vicinity because yeah. I'm so far in the corner. If you've touched Lucky, you're trying to ramp the threat up and it's win the game. Yep. Right, I'm going to activate Negan. I am going to try and lower the threat. <laughs> um, and I don't, um, but I am going to run him. You go straight through the doorway. Straight through the doorway. Okay, you can get to like the side of the staircase just around yep. here. Um, He's coming up them steps. Yep. Uh, and that is the end of Negan's activation. All right, Dexter's also going to panic. Luckily, his carpet of walkers that he's made, this barrier of like swirling bodies is pretty good. But uh, we'll see what he rolls. So 50-50. He only gets to perform one action as well. So he is going to make a move. He's going to attempt to just move over this table, so we have to roll a 50 50. <laughs> You're trying to get away from him. I could just can't climb to save my life, but we'll see if I can. No, nope. so he just stops where he is. He attempts to climb and he fails miserably and he looks sad. Okay, so my next activation is going to be Sherry. Uh, let's see what she does. She, she screams. She screams. So that she creates is. noise, which. Puts one to the threat as well, pushes us into 15. Yeah, which pops that walker to there because that'll be closest. And then um, she can take one more action. And she can take one more action, which she's gonna try and lower the threat level. No. She doesn't. You got Tara left? Uh, Tara left, uh, who also now needs to take a test, and she goes she to the a... I will take that all day. Plus one to the threat again, so um, 16. Yep, and she will try and lower the threat level for the first action. She does. She does. Puts down to 15. Uh, and I am going to sprint around to here, you know, on the squeaky floorboard in the studio, which will bring in this walker here. Lovely, and we will go over to the event phase. Okay, so we are in high threat. Um, We've we not had to do any moving in because everybody's on their backside. Yeah. All the walkers are flawed. Everyone's pretty good, yeah. Oh, scream before. Probably should have been that walker that moved. Oh, um, right, event card. Um, we have drawn. There's a storm coming, so. Plus one to the threat straight away. Plus one to the threat straight away. Um, Oh, you probably won this now. Um, <laughs> There's a grin on my so, face for a reason. Yeah, the tension reaches fever pitch. Uh, add one to the threat level. Immediately draw two more event cards. So it's an additional plus result. one puts us on 17. One at a time, yep. Um, so all it takes is a drawing of um, an event card here. And we've got frayed nerves. Is that plus one to the threat by the shots? Uh, no, no, it's... So we are in high threat. So as medium threat, in addition, blue walkers enter play. 
One model with low or medium nerve, chosen by the player with initiative, being me, creating mayhem if there are no eligible models add on to the threat, the threat level. either way. Um, well, you might be able to put a walk into Andrew. Well, it, creates, it creates mayhem, so it does add on to the threat level. Um, Andrew will create mayhem. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing's there. Um, Blue dice worth walkers into play, though. Yeah, so, so I will roll that. Whoop. Oh, he's just chucked, chucked it. it. Yeah, I'll roll it again because I kind of stopped that then. Yeah, um, two. we got two, so we'll put them both by Andrew, please. Uh, we get to take it in turns, thank you, Mike. Okay. Yeah. We'll so put, you can put one next to Andrew. <laughs> put one right by Andrew, yeah, straight right. away. We're right. not even cutting off camera to do this. I am just going to literally chuck it all the way <laughs> <up here. laughs> as far as possible away. Um, and the next card is Raz Lakers, which puts us over the threat level um, and as low threat which is shuffle any discarded lurker cards you've got a couple yeah of you can have that back yeah. yeah and then two blue walkers enter play but as we have reached the end of the game so we just do the combat and be done we will just do the combat and be done because it's it's going to be juicy so let's it's probably on. not to be honest actually um, but we'll, we'll get onto it anyway right then let's see if Andrew can get away he spent the whole game running away 50-50 for Nimble he nibbles away. away. Not today, punk rock walker. Whatever she is. Emo <laughs> walker. And that, that's we, one of the, uh, be careful what you're saying because that's one of the custom character ones. Well, we've already got Johnny Rotten, so what are we going to call her? Uh, well, she's actually got a name because that is based on one of the Kickstarter backers. Fair play to you, Kickstarter backers. That's yeah. a really cool model. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the sound of backtracking on camera yeah. laser, right? Let's I get think, a fight. Let's I do a fight. All of them on the field, I mean, Tara's fighting the walker over here somewhere. Irrelevant, yeah. but shall yeah, we? Let's do it. Uh, oh, we'll do Tardy, yeah, yeah. So she's only engaging one walker, so she's going to get a red uh, and a white, and she's also got one red from Impress Me. Walker rolls one. Yeah, so Tardy she gets, gets two. two. So, so she beats the walker, but she doesn't kill it. John versus Thomas, then let's have it. Let's uh, move yeah. them a bit more front and center. Uh, white and a red, and I'm going to add the Impress Me that John had. So I've got two white, but I do get re rolls. You do get re-rolls, don't you? I don't. Um, I get... One. One. Uh, Thomas gets two. two. Yes. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll do a stab. Do a stab. And that will bring us to the end of the game. And I believe that's three supply tokens. To my two, one. one. Handshake on camera, good and sir. Right. And we will knock not, everything not flying. Everything and we'll go to the summary. I just ran away. <laughs> Yeah, you, I just, that's my fortress. That's, the, that's the biggest that time ever you've played the objective game. <laughs> it's because the campaign <laughs> matters. Um, yeah, I was. I went into that really cocksure. I've lost Dwight, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm actually not too fussed no. about it. And you've got, got you've got such a good yeah. amount of things in the farm. I mean, we yeah, said for this first round. Glenn, so yeah, we said for this first round to try and stick to our original crews, but you've got, like I said, the Andrew variants. The Glenn, Glenn replaces Dwight immediately. Yeah, essentially. Um, for me, that's quite good. I'm really going to be keen on getting Tyrese in the mix for the next round. And I'm <laughs> also very close to a new secret objective, so I'm probably going to be rolling on the table in between this, so I'll see what extra yeah. thing I So how many points have you earned? That'll be three, I think, three for this for you. one. So I've three faction will get one. one. I got yeah. one. So you're just going to go straight for Ben still, I imagine. I'm just going to get another walker. So at the end of this, we will show you how the map changes, and as we go into round two, we will both be fighting Ian and Ben separately, I imagine. There's no way I can Eat. interact with you anytime. I've seen on the other side. Stay stay away from me. Got my win, I'm done. Um, but yeah, we'll cut to that and we'll see you later. And one extra thing we have to do, obviously, because it is the campaign, we have to measure our casualties. Now, poor Dwight did succumb to his bite. He didn't. So he is gone from the roster. Uh, but luckily, Paul has a replacement in the form of Laura, who's probably a bit better. Um, Axel, for me, he did get killed in the battle, but he wasn't killed by a bite, so it just means he loses wounds. Now, I mean, he did get loose sealed. He yeah. did get loose sealed in the face. Uh, luckily, it hit him in his bald patch, patch so you know, he's, you can see he's, he's, he's all right, he's all right. Uh, so I need to roll a white dice, and he will lose that many hit points for the next round of the campaign, which probably means I'm going to need to rest him, which is a bit terrifying. So, oh, he's lost two health points, which takes his relatively solid six. Down to, down to infinitely killable four, which is a little bit of a problem for me. So I've got a choice for the next round, either to rest him so he comes back or to have him play at four HP. And then potentially if he gets injured, then he'll lose another white dice worth off that, which is, is not very nice. Nope. Uh, yeah, that's bad. And as we bring the first round to a close, we have to update our map. And this was really, really interesting because with Ian and Ben drawing, they both had two hexagons to place. 
I had three and obviously Paul had the one. So let's change the picture and see exactly what we did. So as we transition over, you can see some more unique sites have been found and it's very much changed the kind of tone of the map. So we'll start with Paul who obviously expanded north by one and he managed to get very, very fortunate and he got the National Guard outpost, which is not just home to people like Abraham and Rosita, it also gives him rifles, which means both Ben and Paul have the monopoly on long range weaponry and for myself and Ian, that's all the way to the western side of the map, northwest almost, it's going to be very difficult to wrestle that off them and whoever wins their little jewel on the map is going to have some serious firepower. Uh, ben obviously expanded a little bit towards the middle, he was I think competing from the area that I ended up with but Ian as you can see has done some janky stuff because he's got the kingdom he's able to place a little bit further away than just the adjacent hexes and he's managed to snap up the hospital which is really really good. Not only has he gained a few characters like Father Gabriel, he's got like things like cleavers, most importantly it's got a passive ability that whenever you heal, you heal plus one. So if you think Herschel also has that ability, Ian can really rapidly heal his crew, which is perfect for his green family, like, you know, snuggles that he does. Um, on to me, though, I managed to get something very befitting as well. As I went kind of to the western side of my area, I ended up with a prison, which is completely right for the prisoners to have. It's their birthright. Um, but it is not filled with prisoners. No, I think I've, I've mitigated my only having four characters to start with because I've got the governor and I've got all of his crew that come with it as well as some riot gear and shotguns and things like that that are a little bit cheaper. So some incredibly thematic random rolls on the table. We got very lucky with that. And that is leading us into our second round games. But before we get onto that, we can go through the points. So, as things currently stand this round, both Ben and Paul are sat on 12 points. Remember, it's one point per generic hexagon you control and two points for every unique site. Ian is then in second place. He has 13 points worth. And I am currently, luckily with my extra site, one point ahead on 14. Anyway, we drew the battle lines, and because myself and Ben are vying for that prison area, we will be battling against each other in round two, whereas Paul and Ian in the south of the map will be duking it out as well. So we look forward to seeing how they do as we enter the next round. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching our content, it means the world to us. If you'd like to see some more videos, they should be over here. And if you'd like to support our channel, keep these lights on. You can find links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. See you later.